A very good morning. I'm Prashanti. I completed my master's in engineering and I've got about six years of teaching experience. Okay. In today's class, we are going to see about trigonometry. Like I tell you always, before studying any concept in mathematics, it is required that you need to understand where you use that concept in day-to-day -day life. Why? Only then the concept becomes simpler because you will understand things, you will not buy hard things. Understanding is required. Okay, what is trigonometry? Here, tri means three. Okay, gone means sides and metry means measurement. It is actually a Greek derivation. Okay, so trigonometry means three side measurement. Okay, so where is it used in our daily day to day life? Before that, I will tell you how this evolved. Earlier, when astronomers wanted to find the distance of the stars and moon from Earth, they used this trigonometry concept. Even now, astronomers are using this. How are we using it? In engineering field, trigonometry is used. Let us take, for example, you wanted to find the height of your building. You can use trigonometry. You wanted to find the height of a statue on a pole. You can use trigonometry. Okay, so now let us go to the class. Before going to the class, let us quickly revise what we saw in the previous classes. And you will use these concepts to derive this. Okay, so now let us take the basic right angle triangle. So when I say it is a right angle triangle, I mark the degree. Okay. Now I will name this triangle, the vertices. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Fine, here my A is an acute angle. So all this we have seen in the previous classes. Okay, so now this side AC is the hypotenuse. The side opposite to this angle, I mark it as O, and this is my adjacent side. Okay, so now let us write the various trigonometric ratios which we have seen in the previous classes. First is your sine A. So what is sine A? Yes, let me write it for all. Cos A, tan A, cosecant A, secant A and cot A. So what is sine A? It is opposite by hypotenuse. Okay, what is cos A? Adjacent by hypotenuse. What is tan A? Adjacent. So how did I tell you? I told you a shortcut for this. Old Hardy and his old aunt. Old Hardy and his old aunt. Okay, now tell me what is sin A? It is opposite by hypotenuse. Which is opposite? BC is opposite, which is my hypotenuse. AC is my hypotenuse. Now, cos A. What is cos A? Adjacent by hypotenuse, which is my adjacent side. BA is or AB is my adjacent side. What is my hypotenuse? My hypotenuse is AC. Okay, now tell me which is my opposite side. BC is my opposite side, which is my adjacent side. AB is my Adjacent side. Clear? Now, if you know these, the others are easy. What is cosecant A? Cosecant A is nothing but 1 by sine A. So, what is sine A? Sine A is BC by AC. So, if it is 1 by, it is going to be the reverse. So, it is AC by BC. Fine? Similarly, what is secant A? Secant A is 1 by cos A. So what is cos A? Cos A is AB by AC. So it will become AC by AB. Clear. Cot A. What is cot A? Cot A is nothing but 1 by tan A. So tell me what is tan A? It is BC by AB. So the inverse is going to be AB by BC. So these are the various trigonometric ratios. So, using these ratios, we are going to derive a trigonometric identity. Okay, so let us derive 
the trigonometric identity okay so again we are going to use a concept which we studied in the earlier classes do you remember the pythagoras theorem yes by by pythagoras theorem come on tell me use this right angle triangle to tell me what is pythagoras theorem the square of the hypotenuse that is ac square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides so what are the other two sides ab square plus bc square okay so this is my hypotenuse this is my pythagoras theorem okay now i'm going to use this pythagoras theorem to derive a trigonometric identity so what am i going to do i am going to divide this entire thing by ac square okay throughout i am going to divide it by ac square okay so how will this happen ac square by ac square is equal to ab square by ac square okay plus bc square by ac square okay so this and this will get cancelled so i write it as 1 now this i can write it as ab by ac the whole square plus bc by ac the whole square now look at the ratios and tell me what is ab by ac what is ab by ac this is ab by ac so tell me what is the value the value is cos a the whole square plus what is bc by ac this is bc by ac what is that that is sin a the whole square is equal to 1 so how do i write this sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 so this is an important trigonometric identity thank you